afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Coffee Venture Vlog series where me, Alfie, aka Quantum Kaza, will venture to every single independent coffee shop in London and basically drink their coffee and tell them if it's good or not. But there's more to it. I'll eventually get round to the other topics within coffee, but as you know, coffee is such a massive subject, it's gonna take a while. So that's why I like this niche, it's gonna, it's gonna take a long time. But anyway, Today we're going to a coffee shop called the Espresso Room. I went past it the other day and I was like, huh, interesting. It looks very interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> and I just wanted to go drink their coffee. So basically, I planned it for today and that's where we're going. So let's get going. to the espresso room coffee shop. Um, I got here like, I'd say 10 minutes ago now. I ordered my latte. Um, bare people have been giving their coffee already and that is already not looking too good to be honest because like it's, <laughs> I'm kind of reviewing you. Um, yeah, so I came outside because there's copyright music in the background and I don't really want them to know that I'm talking shit behind their back because it's, I don't, want to, I don't want to be that guy, but at the end of the day, I'm still waiting on my coffee and I haven't even managed to review the coffee yet and I've been here for like almost 15 minutes now. But I'm gonna go back inside and I'm gonna see if my coffee's there. If it's not, I'm gonna to have to go and ask them um, where my coffee's at. Oh, swear, the battery's gone up. The, ba the battery's gone up on it. It self-charged itself, that, that's new. But anyway, as you can see, I quickly changed seat because I was waiting because I needed, um. Needed one of these, the, 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 these to plug, like charge the scooter. Um, but as I, as soon as I went up and I moved my scooter and I asked them where my coffee is, they said my coffee's coming. I don't know why it took so long, cause like, I don't know, like six people got given their coffees first and I was just like, didn't, didn't I order mine like 10 minutes ago? But on that note, I need to like drink and give these guys a full like extensive. It's gonna be it's gonna be like an extensive review today because I just feel like they need to understand. If it's if it's horrible, like I'm I'm gonna send for you guys. But if it's not, you, you're lucky. But anyway, this is what the coffee looks like. I'm gonna make this bit of the video very quick because there's music playing in the background and. I genuinely don't want beef with YouTube at the moment. They're currently having some issues and I'd rather not go into that discussion. And yeah, this does look nice, man. Like, it do the milk does look like it's thick and it, it looks like a cloud, you know? As soon as I tried it, straight away, it is hella watery but it's not so much that I wouldn't drink it to be honest unlike because it does taste good the coffee tastes amazing um, there's love has definitely been put into this coffee and um, I don't know how I feel about it like it's not the best coffee but it's not the worst coffee if you get what I mean um, it's like a prep coffee. It's like it's not too it's not too thick. It's not too watery. It's just it's not just right because that don't exist. It has to be thick. But lattes have to be thick. End of. Um, that's that discussion we're not having. Uh, I think I've come to a final decision on this coffee. Um, okay, the espresso room. It's an amazing place. It's got an amazing coffee vibe. You can sit in here, you can relax, watch the roll go by, drink good coffee. It's very feng shui, very hipster. Um, what else? They know about coffee art, unlike the other place I went to the other day. They put effort, they put love into the coffee, and that's what made it for me with this coffee. I think without love, I would have thrown it on the floor because it would have been a bad coffee. I think love is what made it taste good this time. So like, ratings wise, um, 
to be fair, I will definitely be back to this place to review the rest of their menu in the future because that's what I plan to do with this series. Um, but the espresso room, the latte, is gonna get a three out of five. It's not the best. It's not the best rating, but it's not the worst rating. You know, like the place is amazing. That automatically gets a point. You know, the coffee art that gets another point because this type of coffee art it, it, it takes effort and time to learn to do it. And number three, it tastes good. Um, yeah, three out of five. If it wasn't watery, it would have got four, but it was watery, unfortunately. Just wait for that truck to fuck off because it's annoying and it's loud. Anyway. I'm gonna end this video here guys, as you can see I'm outside the espresso room. You guys did an okay job with coffee because I gave you a 3 out of 5 and that's, that's okay in my books. Improve on the latte, it needs to be a bit more thick and other than that, good job. I will be back to try the rest of your menu in the future because coffee is a massive subject and there's so much different types of coffee and coffee shops. But on that note, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell and join the family. Guys, I'm out because this camera stuff is heavy. It's a lot of arm work, you know. It's, 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 it's a lot of arm work.